Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called sorted linked list to BST. So you are given a singly linked list, you have to convert it to balanced binary search tree which has the same data value. So this is the linked list that is given, you have to convert it to this binary search tree. Okay? Let's see what is the properties of the linked list and the binary search tree that are going to be useful here. So let's say you are given a linked list which is 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. So when you convert this linked list to a binary search tree, in a binary search tree, the properties are, okay, first of all, um, whatever node is there, right, on the left of it, all values should be always less than the node, right, and on the right of it, all the children of it should be greater than node. This is the property of binary search tree, okay. This property is going to be very useful for us to solve this question. It is given to us that the linked list is sorted in ascending order, ascending order. So first of all, let us start creating the binary search tree. Okay, we have a node, we have to first of all create the binary search tree. So this is our linked list. What will be the first value of the binary search tree? It will be the middle value of this linked list, right? So it is 4 currently. So first value is 4. Let me also write the indices. So we have a starting index, we have an ending index and we have a middle index. Okay, so middle value is 4. Now we have to give the left child of 4. Now what values can be placed on the left of 4? All the values less than 4 can only be placed on the left of 4. That is a property of binary search tree, right? So all values on left of 4 can only be placed uh, as the left children of 4. So there are 3 values, 1, 2, 3. All the 3 values should come here, okay? They cannot come on the right side of 4, okay? So all the three nodes, one, two, three, should come on the left of four. Now let's fill the value here. What will come just on the left of four, right? So first of all, since I have shifted my search space now, I am finding the left child of four. What is my new uh, start, end, and mid pointer? Let me just change the value. So the node four is gone, right? So the node four is gone, okay? Now the starting pointer is one, ending pointer is three because values left of 4 should be less than 4. So starting value is 1, ending value is 3. What is the mid value? Mid value is 2. So 2 will come here. Whatever is the mid value will come here. Okay. So the mid value is currently 2. So 2 I have placed. Okay. Now I have to find the left child of 2. So what will come on the left of 2? Anything less than 2 will only come on the left of 2, right? Anything less than 2. So I will again change my um, starting pointer, end pointer and mid value will be just the middle of starting and end values so now the mid value is one so i will place one okay now this is placed now let me place the left and right child of one do they exist they don't because you see on the left side of one when you shift your pointer when you move your uh, pointer what will happen the starting value is going to remain the same but your ending value will go out of bounds ending value will become minus one starting value will still remain the zeroth index right so in this case you can see that there is no node possible so because of this one does not have a left child similarly it will not have a right child because if you see a right child of one the starting value will come here the ending value will remain same start again becomes greater than end or what does this mean is if you want to give a right child to one right that should be greater than 1, okay, because it's on the right of 1, but it's on the left of 2, so it should be less than 2, it should satisfy both these conditions, now there is no node possible which is greater than 1 and less than 2, right, there is no such integer possible which is greater than 1 and less than 2 at the same time, so because of this reason, 1 does not have a right child, okay, 1 does not have a right child, so now we have uh, finished giving the values of children of 1. Both are null, right? 1 does not have any left or right child. Both of them are null. Okay, That's it. Now let's come back to this node 2. Now once we come back to this node 2, we are again at our uh, uh, point where we were here, right? Now we have to find the right child of 2, okay? So first let me mark the initial value. So initially when we were inside this function call, when 2 was the mid value, the starting value was 1 and the ending value was 3, okay? Now if you have to find the right child of 2, it has to be something which is greater than 2. But since it is on the left of 4, it has to be something which is less than 4, right? So in this case, I will shift my pointers again. If it has to be greater than 2, the starting value will also be on the right side of 2, right? 
and the ending value is also on the right side of 2 so the mid value is also 3 so this is your node that is start end as well as the mid pointer so its value is 3 so the node which is greater than 2 and less than 4 is 3 right so I will mark 3 here okay I know it has become very messy but let us um, continue with this so we have the values now okay so in this case we have placed 3 to be the right child of 2 okay because it is greater than 2 but it is less than 4 it is satisfying both the conditions now let us come back to the beginning now in the beginning we had gone to this search space right because we wanted to find what are the uh, children of 4 right so now we have exhausted we have filled all these nodes right we have given values to all these nodes now we are on the right side of 4 to find out the right children of 4 so what is your starting value your starting value is the starting value is see when, when 4 was the mid right next time when you have to move the starting value it will be mid plus 1 right that will become your starting value so you have to note this so your starting value is at 5 and your ending value is at 7 so what will be your mid mid will be 6 so we will place 6 here and now we will continue we have to find the left child of 6 how do you find the left child of 6 the left child of 6 should be less than 6 but it should be greater than 4 because it is on the right side of 4 right so which is the node that is satisfying both these conditions it is the node 5 right so because of which 5 will be the left child of 6 and when you do this where will be your pointers so see currently your pointers are here but if you have to find the left child of 6 so you will shift your end pointer you will make your end pointer point towards the left of 6 right you will go towards the left of 6 so your starting and end pointers and mid pointers all will point towards 5 and you will place 5 here right so that is a simple logic now we, we have to just fill one last value we have we have filled the value 5 we have filled the value 6 on the right side of 6 when you go you will shift the pointers all starting end and mid will point at 7 and you will fill 7 so 7 will be the right child of 6 because it is greater than 6 right so uh, this is how we are going to uh, solve the problem now let's code it so uh, let's code this now the code is very simple so first thing you have to do is you have to convert it to a vector so that easily we can keep the indices so we have the linked list we can just keep on doing head is equal to heads next value right so that we keep getting the node next node and next node and meanwhile we can keep on pushing the given nodes in our given vector so this will ensure that we have the linked list converted to vector because it's easier to have indices in vector and i'll give a variable count to keep a count of the number of nodes now i have my start value and end value start value is zero and what is my end value end value is count minus one count is the number of nodes so the last index will be count minus one now i can create a function i can call it let's say i call it bst right so i'm going to return whatever value this function returns i'm going to pass it three things i'm going to pass it my vector i'm going to pass it start value i'm going to pass it end value right now let's uh, write the function bst so it it is going to return a value of type t node star it's a bst function it's just the name of the function it has three parameters v the start value and the end value so let me just call it s any for short form right so what is the mid value mid value is simply start plus end by 2 this will be the mid value in case we have okay let's consider this case 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if we have uh, uh, odd number of nodes right so the indices will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this will be the indices 0 will be the start value and uh, end value will be uh, 6 right and then the mid value will be uh, 0 plus 6 by 2 which will be 3 right so this is fine this works for this case but let's say you have even number of nodes okay let's say you have nodes only up to 6 so in that case what will happen your end value will become equal to 5 and your start value will be equal to 6 in that case your mid value should still be 3 okay it's given in the question that your mid value should point towards the index 3 it is uh, skewed towards the left on the left you have more nodes compared to the right okay so uh, the mid value is 4 but on the left you have 3 nodes on the right you have 2 nodes it's given in the question it is supposed to be like this okay so but if you apply this formula right what is your start value 0 and what is your end value and value is 5 so 0 plus 5 by 2 if you do this you will get 2 right which is wrong because your mid value should be technically 3 so that's why we will add s plus e plus 1 by 2 for even even cases also and odd cases also it will satisfy the condition so 0 plus 6 by 2 will be equal to 3 so it will be fine okay so that's why the mid value will be this 
now we have the mid value now it's very simple so whatever is the value at the middle of that in the vector right that will be the value of your node so we can just use the constructor function of the node and we can create a new node and let me call this um, temporary node right so let's call it temporary node and we can create a new node at whatever value we have at the mid value right and now how to find its left and right child it's very easy if you have to find the left child of this temporary you know just call the function bst function again but this time your start value will remain same but your end value will be on whatever is on the left of mid because only on the left of mid you have value smaller than mid it is sorted in ascending order right so that's it and similarly on the right side if you have to find the values you have to just keep the uh starting value is mid plus 1 because only on the right side of mid you will have values greater than that that should be placed on the right side okay so the logic is pretty simple that's it and finally you can just return temp now what is the uh, base condition the base condition for this to end is simply if your starting is ever becoming greater than end this is not right right your starting value should never become greater than end value if it becomes then you can return null there are no more children of it okay that's it this is a simple code now let's compile and run and see if it's working so there is some error let's see what is the error uh, no matching function to call push back and okay so it's head it's unfortunately heads data type i have pushed the head but it's a integer type right i should push the value of whatever is there of the head so it's a silly mistake let's uh, run and see it should be fine now it's fine right let's submit it and see it should work for all the given test cases hopefully so it's working thank you for being patient and listening